and anxiety. They're fast becoming two of our biggest health problems. But can owning a dog help? There's a touching demonstration called Hearts Aligned. And let's see it now, beginning with Melbourne man Glenn and his gorgeous dog, Lyric. I got injured in work. I was working away, the scaffolding collapsed. I had a massive injury due to the fall. And then it went down this kind of dark road. So uh, anxiety, depression, and Lyric has helped in massive amounts of ways. Stress is a major killer in today's society. And, and as we get busier and busier, it's something that's really important for us to, to try and help with. The purpose of today is to monitor the heart rhythms of both dogs and their owners. We're really interested in seeing the effect they have on each other. He started to get more anxious uh, without his dog being there. Their heart rates are both elevated. Yeah. Oh, good girl. Good it's starting to decrease now. You can see how Glenn has you know, decreased from, from up in the hundreds. Lyrics come down from a heart rhythm of 130 on entry to 88. It's quite interesting. You can see this is when you're apart, and, and once you're together, you can you can look at how close it is and how the heart wow. has a, has a line there. And I think that's really special. Oh, it's Whoa. so special. <laughs> uh, Glenn and Lyric join us from Melbourne, and with us on the couch we have human performance expert Dr. Craig Duncan and canine welfare scientist Mia Cobb with Dog Millie. Oh. Welcome to the show. Glenn, we'll start with you. You have such a special connection with Lyric. We were watching you two interact before. I explain what that relationship is like. Um, that relationship is uh, beyond uh, words. Um, it is... Uh, with the Hearts Align uh, thing, um, it, uh, it brought to my attention visually how, uh, human, how humans and dogs uh, well, lyric for me uh, means basically everything. From a visual point of view, seeing us, uh, our two heart rhythms uh, align with one another was something special for me. Um, the words, uh, I couldn't find the words to describe how I felt. Is lyric your best friend? Um, I w friend, I'd say partnership. Uh, mm. We're a team. We're a team. It's just so beautiful, and the way she just sits there and looks at you, I can't breathe. <laughs> um, uh, Craig, now, you've Thank had you. your own personal experience with stress, and it got so stressed that it actually led to health problems. Yeah, I, I think most of us don't realise just how, you know, negative stress can be in our yeah. lives. And, uh, for example, yeah, myself, I, I suffered quite from stress and ended up in intensive care after a heart attack. Whoa! Yeah, so it was, it was quite a difficult time. So it is vitally important that, that we... De Decrease that stress. Yeah, element. absolutely. We find our way to, to manage that stress because, you know, stress can lead to many problems, including heart disease, you know, high blood pressure, sleep disturbances. Yeah. Wow. So it's, so Mia, it's important. what do dogs mean to you and, like, ha what have you learned from them? I think just the way we interact with dogs and the way that they interact with us is just fascinating. Yeah. Um, we know from the research that's come out over the last 10 to 20 years that they give us a range of social, mental and physical benefits. Yes. And even just something as simple as patting Millie here mm -hmm. can help lower our heart rate. I could so. have told you that before the test. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess what the, um, the pedigree short film, the Hearts Align film shows us is that um, Something just as simple as coming home and sharing time yeah. with your dogs at the end of a work day can significantly lower your heart rate and also theirs as well. So the benefit's actually mutual. Now, uh, tell us about, talk us through these pictures and, and what exactly you found in this, this demonstration. So I guess we started off um, putting on some real-time heart rate monitors onto both the people and their dogs and that allowed us to look at their heart rates in real time and we separated them. Right. Yeah. And so we separated them and then saw the effect that had on their on their heart rates and uh, were, they com were they looking at each other were they no. separate across or no completely yeah. apart. So yeah. didn't know where the other was. Yeah, so the so like Glenn there, he's he was just on the couch by himself and, and the lyric was behind the screen and their heart rates were elevated and and completely out of sync and then we brought them back together. Oh, wow. Wow. Do we know exactly why um, dogs and humans de-stress together? Is it some sort of chemical bioreaction? What, what is it exactly mm. that, that makes us so relaxed in each other's company? Mm, I think... It, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I, but I think it is that real uh, uh, 
just a, a method of stress release, like if we were doing mindfulness or if we were doing yoga or something like that, it, it's another form of that. Yeah. And the beauty of it is that it's it's something that we can do without really thinking we're doing it. I'm curious, does it apply to other animals? Do we get the same uh, responses from cats or, you know, George Clooney's got a pot-bellied pig, you know, does that work <laughs> for him? Or Because it doesn't seem to, does it? We do seem to have a special vibe with dogs. But, the attachment yeah. can differ to different yeah. animals, but I guess what we've seen with these three beautiful owners and their dogs is the absolute best mm. of what you can have in a relationship with a pet. Yeah. And when you have a pet that meets your lifestyle and your needs and you have that psychological attachment, yeah. you're not going to get that with a You goldfish, reap the same right. benefits that you would from a friend. <laughs> yeah. Glenn, this is something you would like to pursue further. Do you think that other people can benefit from what you and Craig and Mia have shown us today? I think people can benefit from this massive and greatly. Um, I think uh, from a recovery standpoint and from a, a mental health uh, point of view, I think we get caught too much up on the, the theory and the, like for me personally going through an injury point of view with the doctors and everything else, but to have a dog, to have a dog with me, I don't need to build a rapport, it's just instant. Mm -hmm. And for me and Lyric, uh, it's pretty amazing and I think uh, Lyric can pass on that message to other people and hopefully uh, help them like uh, she helped me. Oh, it's wow. such a beautiful story. Look at the way you guys are looking at each other. <laughs> Oh, it's just gorgeous. If you'd like to help dogs find a new home so they can help others, you can visit Pedigrees Australia, Pedigree Australia's Facebook page and also use the hashtag Hearts Aligned. And one dollar will be donated to Pet Rescue on your behalf. You absolutely need to watch the full Hearts Aligned film. It is so beautiful. Glenn and Lyric in Melbourne and Craig Duncan, Duncan and Mia Cobb, thank you very much for joining us. We do appreciate it. Yay. 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 Yay.